Have you turn your Bibles to Judges chapter 16. Scripture text. Testing one, two. Testing one, two. Before you read the scripture text for this morning's sermon, we appreciate the singing this morning. Isn't that right? Amen. Amen. P appreciate the effort went forth to be bilingual. The world is becoming more diverse. Lord, help us to keep up. Amen. They did a good job with that, didn't they? Amen. 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 So let me try to follow their footsteps best I can. Dios te bendiga. Amen. God Amen. bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Benvidos a la iglesia de Dios. Welcome to the church of God. I'm about one one hundredth of Brother Hampton. Y'all pray for us. Judges chapter 16, verse number 1. Then went Samson to Gaza. Before Gaza. we read the outline of Samson, fall and redemption, there's a great work to be done in this end time. We believe that we're living in the last days on earth. If you don't have the biblical insight from a prophetic perspective, all you have to do is look around you. Everything that we were told about when we were young that would take place right before God comes back is now taking place, and it's undeniable. I would often say when I was a little child that if I lived in the days of Noah, that I would have ended up on that ark. Some type of way, I would have ended up on that ark. There was no way that I was going to be one of those on the outside when the rain started falling. Well, it said it shall be as the days of Noah. In other words, I began to think about and I would say that here Noah told them it's going to rain. God is going to spare the earth by only those that get on that ark. The animals will be spared. The unclean will come two by two, the clean by sevens, amen, but they shall come from all over two by two. He was preaching a message, and Noah was preaching a message under the anointing of God, and he had a burden, so he was telling them exactly what they needed to hear, so they would not be caught unawares. He would say they're going to come two by two, and saints of God, do you realize that as the animals started coming animals that they had never seen before in their life start coming from all parts of the then known world large animals small animals medium-sized animals animals with scales animals with fur animals that ate meat animals that didn't eat meat all various types and shapes of animals began to come. And do you realize that these children that grew up, my God, the children of Enoch, Noah's family was a spiritual family. His great, great, great grandfather was so spiritual that he didn't even see death. His father was a man of God. But despite all the preaching, despite all what they were taught, the way they were raised, as the animals started coming two by two, they would not stop their party. They would not stop doing what they were doing. As the animals started coming, two by two, and mind you, animals have nature. Some of these animals were vicious. Some of these animals would destroy various different animals. They ate other animals. But these animals that came, they weren't eating the animals before them. They were walking, and the animal before them was part of their diet, but they would not even eat them. But despite it being this clear, they kept doing what they were doing. Hey man, what you doing today, bro? Man, I'm going down to such and such. We got a drink on. Hey man, let's go get our drink on, bro. Yeah, we good. Hey man, we got the fire, bro. We're going to be going down. These weren't heathenistic people uh, uh, totally. Many of these people knew better. They heard Noah's preaching. But despite all Noah said, and despite it happened graphically, exactly how he said it, there was something so deep. See, when you commit sin, it does something to your mind. It does something to your heart. You don't think like you know you should be thinking. It messes your mind up. So here, animals came, 
Clouds gathered. Still, no response. Noah said, family, get on the ark. Still, no response. Well, the Bible said, it shall be as the days of Noah. I believe this with everything within me. That when God split the clouds and we're all on the other side, God himself going to say, I gave you every warning in the world. Before he says, go to hell, Father. You're never getting out. I just believe for a moment, especially those that knew better. You, what more could I have done? If I could have called you personal, oh, I gave you the blueprint. I told you, I told you. I know you were around other people that may not knew, but you knew better. What more could I have done? Well, how could I have shaken you? What more could I have done? So here, there's a great work to be done. And God desires to use those that are among us today. Pray for us this morning. This is the final work of God's people on earth. We're now living on borrowed time. If God delays it too much further, he'll have to repent and apologize to Sodom and Gomorrah. But God desires to use those among us to help him in this end time and final work. Pray for us this morning, saints. I appreciate the pastor, Pastor Hampton, that was here. And when he had passed away, the thought was overwhelming to continue laboring without that giant of a human being who had so given himself and consecrated his very life and all that he had to the furtherance of the gospel of Jesus Christ. We believe a very unique calling was on his life. We believe of the seven billion people in the world, those who were blessed to be up under his ministry and to grace his presence were blessed to be among some of the rarest qualities that God uses through a human being. But when he passed, the thought came overwhelming. How will the work be completed? With this giant insight, wisdom, you can't get into a situation in which he doesn't have some insight. The way he's given himself to God, God reveals. I remember the housing crisis. Before it happened, Brother Hampton came to service every day. He said, think about the crash. Y'all remember that? Those are, he began to say, something, you can't pull something. You can't pull The houses on the south side is not worth that much. You can't pull that type of money out. It's going to go somewhere. Somebody going to pay for this. This little man in Jackson, Michigan, not on Wall Street, not, he was like using, I was like, man, why does he keep saying that? Ain't that? And my mom, like, America's bank accounts are so big, we can have, he, he said, all right, all I'm telling y'all is something you can't just, you, you cannot have a company down in Florida that's never been to Jackson do an appraisal for a property in Jackson and blow it up three, four times what it's worth. Give this person this money. They allowed the loan to just fall. Take all the money that they got out of it. And then just keep purchasing and keep repeating. Purchase another property. Call that company. He was like detailing it. Just the whole. And it wasn't just. It was taking place all over the world. So many times. And I said, Lord, you're going to take somebody like that? This unbelieving age, a man of faith, a man of integrity? Seriously? You gonna, and God inspired me with this. He said, yes, he's completed his course. But those that he poured into. Those that he gave his all to. That really perceived the depth of what he was saying. He said, some of them are not there now. But they're coming. Some of the children 
that grew up under it, that sat there Sunday morning, Sunday night, Sunday school, Monday, Wednesday night, Friday night, fellowship meeting, camp meeting, taking them to down to Newark, taking them down to Mount Tabor, taking them to Vichy, taking them to New York, taking them to New Jersey, taking them to Escondido, taking them to Menlo Park, taking them to Panama, taking them to Cayman, taking them to Haiti, taking them to Jamaica, taking them to Ohio, taking them, my God, to Georgia, taking them to Florida, taking them, taking them to Montana, taking them, pouring out the gospel, not preaching a gospel, but so giving themselves that he's able to produce it. You read in the Bible where it says man can be delivered, but he gave himself so that you could witness deliverance from heroin addiction, from, my God, all type of all type of, my God, uh, gambling spirits, all type of crack cocaine addicts, my God, you've seen them come up in the church, come to an altar of prayer, people say, my God, that you can get saved, but you got to stay in sin, but you saw them give themselves, my and the God, saints collectively gave themselves, that you saw one after another, Hallelujah. broken, changed, broken, changed, broken, Amen. not saved in the morning, but go back to sin, Hallelujah. but they got saved, and stayed saved, my, my God. God, with victory in their soul, running aisles, my God, going forth. you seen it. you seen where he read the scripture that said, Jesus said, I am the Lord God. The word said, I am the Lord God that healeth thee. You didn't hear him just talking, but you saw him give himself night and day, inspiring faith. You couldn't come in his presence without your faith being inspired. He made sure every song, you knew what you were singing. Stop the song, re-sing it again. Do you realize, preparing you for a day of the battle, my God gave him so inspiring your faith so when they came and they had my God cancer when they came and they had diabetes when they came and they had asthma attacks when they came and they had seizures little boys on on buses my God would see you see my God the power of prayer break the yoke heal the body you seen it my God and my God you see him pouring my God and pouring amen going inside the jails Coming out with men, my God, save my God, and getting them sanctified and used of God. You've seen, my God, those that were in compromise who didn't perceive the depth of the church of God message, but they were walking in all the light they knew, but they knew it was something more. You've seen them take a stand. My God, get their vision corrected, my God. Perceive the depth of the battle. You've seen how he gave himself. And you were the recipients. Children. Some, because of the cares of life, backslid. Some, because they toyed, something got in the experience, and they didn't deal with it like they should, they end up lost. He said, I'm bringing them back. My God. I'm bringing them back. My Lord, my Lord, amen. I'm bringing them back. Amen. Those that grew up in it, that said, I'm going to try the world, but I'm not going to go too far. But they didn't realize they were dealing with a devil. My God. My God, but they're out there. But they got a good attitude, but they're out there. My Lord. But they got a good attitude, but they're out there. He said, I'm going to bring them back. My God. I'm going to bring them back, and they're going to help finish the work My Lord. of this end time. In this story of Samson, in the little time we have remaining today, we want to share with you how he made it back. My God. And our prayer this morning amen and i say this and i'm gonna show you in the scripture there's only a small window of hope there's only a small the door is just barely cracked you gotta pray saints and i'm gonna show you through this the door is barely cracked but i believe there's a little crack left in it verse number one let's read then went samson to gaza uh-huh and saw there in harlot yes and went in unto her and it was told the Gazites, saying, Now, if you read verse chapter 15, don't go there. But Samson had just killed thousands of the Philistines with a jawbone of a donkey. So he had caused the devil, the enemy, much heartache. The enemy was stirred up and upset. The enemy said, the Philistines, I got to get to him. He's causing us too much trouble. He's causing us too much damage. We got to get to him. He knows too much. We got to get to him. My Lord. 
How can we get to him? Samson was a Nazarite. He had a consecration. And in that consecration, he was abstained from all intoxicants. He was abstained from cutting his hair. And also he was abstained from ritual practices of not touching any corpse. He was a Nazarite. As long as he held to his vow, God gave him unusual power, unusual authority, unusual anointing. He was able to defeat all of his enemies in battle. All of the enemies of the Israelites, he was able to defeat. He has slew a lion, slew thousands of men with just the jawbone of a donkey. He was powerful. So the enemy knew and said, I'm afraid of him. Saints, let me just tell you this right here. There are some people, some here, some may not be here, that the enemy is terrified of. Because they got insight they know truth. They got a good attitude. They got a sharp mind. And he said, if they ever, if they ever get a hold. See, some people, saints of God, I, and I just want to say it like this, and, and I say it with all humility. It's very likely that some of the greatest laborers in this last inning is not yet even saved. Mm. There are some that are out there, but they're bound. They, 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 they got a mind they, they got a good mind on them they know truth they know consecration they know foolishness they know worldliness they know they can hear a person talking and they know when you're talking too much they know what it really means to be consecrated when it's church time they know the attitude you're supposed to have when you come to the house of God they know the focus you're supposed to have when you're heard, hearing the word of God go forth they know the depth of the evening night songs when they saw they know what a devotion is they know how to fast but they're bound they, 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 they're in sin but they know see the devil is terrified if they ever get loose if, if she ever gets sick she'll go on a two day right now she, she knows she know how a three day will break anything. She knows how to get on her knees before God. She said it to feed her sister green. She knows how to discern spirits. She know, but she's just not saved right now. But the devil has got demons that are, don't y'all leave her side. I pre, don't leave her side. Why, devil? Why are you telling her? Don't leave her. She ain't even saved. Why? Because if she ever get a breakthrough. If she ever get enough inspiration just to get the courage to let God know, Lord, I'm coming. Look, if she, if he ever, if he ever gets situated, if he ever comes and get fully consecrated, and just say, let he gonna mess around and bring a whole drawer, a uh, drawer for people behind him. She gonna mess around, my God, and like fires on Wednesday night, sir. To get Sunday morning, Wednesday night. She, my God, not doing a whole bunch of talking, not doing a whole bunch of this, that, yeah. Just her presence, my God. She'll go and just turn her play if she ever get a breakthrough. So here's Samson. Samson, he was afraid of Samson. He feared Samson. He was terrified of Samson. I tell you, I didn't get saved growing up. I said. But I did make it a vow as much as I knew. Lord, if you ever give me one chance, Amen. I'm going to run for my life. Amen. Lord, you never, I seen everything growing up. I seen those that had fire. I seen those that were kind of up and down. I seen those down at the park during church time. I seen those out in the hallway talking about the Lakers. Why? Brother Hampton up here sweating and grinding, trying to inspire that new convert to see the church. And they sitting there who should be. Amen, Brother Hampton. Praise God. Showing their inspiration, supporting the message. But they out there with talking about the left. I seen them all. And I said, Lord, if you ever give me a chance. If you ever give me a chance, Lord. I, I, just as I went after this, just as I went after that, I'm going to go after you times 10. I believe there's some of those here this morning. I believe there's a few here this morning that the enemy knows maybe they're a backslider. And my God, because they, 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 they ended up backsliding, the enemy has got them bound by some things. But in their mind and in their heart, there's something in them that's still tender towards God. Yeah. 
Although they, 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 they're not saved, if you ask them right now, the best time of their life, they'll tell you it was when my conscience was clear. When I was alone with God, when I was able to go to the fellowship meeting in New Jersey, and we used to leave. When I, you, when I used to see the say, the prayer meetings on my, when I, you, if I, oh, the best, it, it, it's something there that stirs them up. They remember what it was like, and if they ever get a hold of God one more time. If they ever can feel the, the, the presence of God down in their soul one more time. If they could ever feel that joy when the songs are sung. You're not just singing lyrics, but you're singing your experience. When I knelt, the blood fell. Sin lost the battle. The Lamb has prevailed. All heaven, all, uh, what made all heaven tremble? All hell tremble? Rang heaven's bell. When I knelt, to be able to sing that song, when I knelt, and you remember the time, my God, if Paul said, at noonday, I, I knew when it was. I remember the time that I went to that altar. I remember how hard it was for me to get up that day. I remember how heavy my legs was when the devil told me, you can't do this, you're going to miss this, you can't get saved, you won't stay saved. And I was able to press past all that foolishness to get my breakthrough when I knelt. My God, my God. The blood fell. My Lord. And to be able to feel the joy down in your soul. My God. Knowing that you and God are on one accord again. My Lord. Knowing what it's like to drive in your car. Knowing that you and God can just talk early in the morning. Knowing what it's like to fall on your knees. There are some that miss that so bad. They try to fill it. The devil tries to fill it with this, that, or the other. But nothing that they involve themselves in ever fills that void. That was left, my God, knowing what it's like to carry your Bible into the camp meeting. My God, to the fellowship meeting. Praise God. Seeing the saints gather in, they sing the song. They're coming in from the north. Come. And you seeing the saints gather together. And you right there now. You're able to give the saints hug. Brother Saul, how you doing for glory? How you doing for praise God? Amen. Amen. It's a joy that supersedes any touchdown, any three-point shot, any boxing. My God, any top spin, anything that you could ever fill in your life. It's a joy. The world don't perceive what you experience. They don't realize why daddy crying. Son, I'm still a man. But you don't understand what Jesus did for daddy. I was messed up. I was out there. I wasn't a good example. I would have had to tell you, do right, but don't do like me. Follow me, you're going to end up lost. But now, I can say follow me as I follow Jesus. You don't know what that feels like. Now I'm a real man. Now I can lead my family. I can lead my children. I can let them know. And more than that, when you get off, I can drop on my knees and I can pray for you. Daddy, it's nothing like daddy's prayers. It's nothing like mama's prayers, my God. This morning, there's some children that are out there that need their parents' prayers. My God, my God. See, it said Rachel refused to be comforted. See, there's a way that mom and daddy can pray that nobody else can pray. There's a way that mom and daddy can get a hold of God on your behalf that nobody else can get a hold of God like that. Mama's prayers, daddy's prayers. This morning, I believe with everything within me, there's a few that God is calling back, saying, now is the time. If you come back now, there's a work to be done. You come back now, I'm going to restore your restoration. I'm going to restore some things that you've lost. Some years you should have been in this thing. You come back now, the door's cracked. You come back now. I'm going to restore your influence with your children. You come back now. You come back now. I'm going to restore some relationship that's been broken. If you can get the inspiration to press past doubt, to press past unbelief, to press past the devil. See, Samson's mindset, pray for us this morning, saints. His mindset was not just, Lord, forgive me. But he said, Lord, let me avenge me of my enemies. His mindset was, Lord, not give me a, a nice car in a night. He got the mindset. Lord, hold on. I see what the devil done done to me. I see how he done. Lord, give me my power back one more time. 
Let me in this battle one more time. Let me battle with the saints one more time. You ain't, get my, you ain't got to make me no thing. You ain't got to make give me no title. You ain't got to give me no. Uh, you ain't got to. I don't need all of that. I just want to roll my sleeves up with the saints. I just want to be in this battle one more time. I just want to pay the devil back. I want to go and wreck his kingdom. I want to, my God, just what, what he did to me. Lord, give me my strength back one more time. And when Samson was able to break that level of humility, that level of vision. Let's look at it and see. Come on and read. Pray for us. Morning, the guys like saying, "Yes, Samson, yes, is come hither, and they come past him, uh huh, and lay wait for him all night in the gate of the city. Come on, and were quiet all night, saying, in the morning, when it is day, we shall kill him. So Samson went down here and messed around with a woman. The devil knows your weakness. The devil knows your weakness." The devil knows where you're weak at. So here he sent. Woman there, Samson fell with her. At midnight, they came and they trapped him. Come on and read. And Samson lay till midnight. Uh huh. And arose at midnight and took the doors of the gate of the city and the two posts and went away with them, bar and all, and put them upon his shoulders. And carried them up to the top of the hill that is before Hebron. That brother took the whole gates of everything. I divided everything, took it up to the top of the hill. Listen, you ever trying to get up shape? You ever trying to get in shape? Go run Cascades Hill a few times. Run up it, then go back down. Then run up it again, then go back down. Then run up it. You run the track all you want. Oh, I'm going out and riding my bike to kind. That's flat. Go up that hill. Something about those heels that got your calves burning, your thighs burning, your knees, stuff that you ain't know you had burning. But here Samson took the gates of the city, went on to the top of, amen, the hill with all they go. With, if you really want, put some ankle weights on and run up there. Oh, my. Now you really tell, oh, you, I want some hops. Oh, you want some hops? Meet me at Cash Case at 4 in the morning with some ankle weights. But Samson, amen, he went up the top of the hill with the gates of the city. They trapped him in. But he had too much power. They couldn't get him. Come on and read. And it came to pass uh -huh. afterward yes. that he loved a woman in the valley of Sorek, uh -huh. whose name was Delilah. Oh, my Delilah. Watch out for Delilah. Come on and read. And the lords of the Philistines came up unto her and said unto her, Yes. Entice him. Come on, we got to get him. And see wherein his great strength lies. Come on and read. And by what means we may prevail against him. Causing me problems. He's testifying to this gospel. Going forth. Telling people at school. His family knows that he's not just churchy. He got saved. Blasting, babbling. Letting you know. You can't be a sinner and a Christian at the same time. You can't have one foot in the world. One foot in the church. He said, man, he broke down what the truth was. That God is able to fully save you. God is able to keep you. God is able to give you joy. My God. He broke this thing down. The Philistines said, we got to stop him. We got, he's destroying thousands. He destroyed the lions with his bare hand. We got to stop him. Come on and read. And by what means we may prevail against him. Yes. That we may bind him. To afflict him. Come on, read. And we will give to give thee every one of us uh -huh. eleven hundred pieces of silver. My Lord, put a bounty on his head. Come on, read. And Delilah said to Samson, Yes, tell me, I pray thee, where in thy great strength lieth, mm -hmm. and wherewith thou mightest be bound to afflict thee, my Lord. And Samson said unto her, If they bind me with seven green whips, that there that were never dry, mm -hmm. then shall I be weak and be as another man. Come on, read. Then the Lord of the Philistines brought up to her seven green widths. Come on. Which had not been dried. Uh huh. And she bound him with them. Torn with fire. Torn with fire. Read. Now there were men lying in wait. Uh huh. Abiding with her. Come on, read. In the chamber. Yes. And she said unto them, Come on. The Philistines be upon thee, Samson. Yes. And he break the whips. Uh huh. As a thread of tow is broken when it's touched. Come on, read. With fire. Come on. So his strength was not known. My, my, my. He, he, these big old things they had on him, just, just, just nothing at all. <coughs> Samson was that powerful. Come on and read. And Delilah said unto Samson, Come on. Behold. Yes. Thou hast mocked me. My, my. And told me lies. Come on. Now tell me, Samson, I pray you thee. know she ain't no good, man. <laughs> what you just told her, she turned on. She ain't no good. But he's still going to toy. See, man, when you're toying with a spirit, you're going to toy with something you know ain't don't mean you no good. 
You know that thing ain't no good for you, but you're going to toy with it? You know that's going to mess up your home, you're going to toy with it? You know that's going to get you fired from your job, you're going to toy with it? Come on, come on. Seriously. You, gonna, you got a good reputation. You're going to mess around with that? You own the whole football team. You're going to go get a massage and then ask that lady to do a sexual favor for you? Seriously? See, seeing you toy with it, it cause you to do stupid stuff. Sometimes you sit there and somebody mess around on their wife. You be like, seriously? You had a good wife? My God, that at your back? You gonna me with her? So do you know how many people had her? Seriously? But see, sin will cause you to make decisions that are not rational. See, here you are finding your team for doing stupid stuff, but you're gonna do something stupider than all that they did combined. Samson, you seen what she just did? You know it don't mean you know well. You barely escaped, bro. Don't keep toying with this. But he kept toying with fire. If you keep toying with fire, eventually you're going to get burned. All right, come on and read. Now tell me, I pray thee. Yes. Wherewith thou mightest be bound. Come on. And he said unto her, uh -huh. If they bind me fast with new ropes. Yes. That never were occupied. Uh -huh. Then shall I be weak and Let's be another man. Get down to verse man. 15. And he said unto him, Yes. How canst thou say, I love thee? So they bound him with ropes. He broke those ropes. Now she says, come on and read. How canst thou say, I love thee? Uh-huh. When thy heart is not with me. All right. She's going for the heart now. Oh, Lord. Be careful. Be careful. Don't let no woman get in your heart. Come on and read. Thou hast mocked me these three times. You don't even love me. Uh, go ahead and read. And hast not told me wherein thy great strength lieth. Come on and read. And it came to pass when she pressed him daily oh, with her words. Oh, the devil would press you daily. Trying to wear you out. Come on and read. And urged him. Yes, and urged him. So that his soul was vexed to so death. So she pressed him daily with her words. Be careful with somebody's words. Many homes have been messed up because of a telephone call. Be careful with words. Now they got words with text. Man, some men will text you and blow your mind. Some women will text you some stuff. Facebook, all this foolishness, inboxing, all. Be careful with your words. Listen, you know she ain't meeting all your needs. She ain't meeting all your needs. You, you a good man. You deserve to be taken care of. Oh, your words. Her words. Listen, you know it ain't even that many men down at that church anyway. You know you too fine for that. What you gonna do, just wait and wait and wait? Like Sister So-and-So, she's still waiting. That one will put some stuff on you. Have you, oh, 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 oh. Be careful. Don't talk to the devil and don't talk to him. Come on and read. That he told her all his heart. <clears throat> Man, Samson messed up. Told her all his heart. Read. And said unto her. Yes. There hath not come a razor upon mine head. Mm -mm. Broken. For I have been a Nazarite unto God from my mother's womb. Broken. Read. If I be shaven, then my strength will go from me. And I shall become weak and be like another man. My God. Pour this heart. Read, brother. And when Delilah saw he had, he had told her all his heart, mm. she sent and called for the lords of the Philistines, when saying. Delilah saw. She saw something different this time. She sent into the, come on. Come up this once. Come up this once. For he has shown me all his heart. Get up here right now. He showed me everything in his heart. Come on and read. Then the lord of the Philistines came up unto her uh -huh. and bought money in their hand. They never bought money before that. Every time that they came, read the account. They came up, they bought. But this time, it's amazing. The devil know when he got you. You done toy with that thing, toy with that thing. Now he said, come on, y'all, we got her. She good, she done. She missed church a few times. She took him a little bit. But something different now. We got him. Come on and read. And she made him sleep upon her knees. And she called for a man. And she caused him to shave off the seven locks of his head. Uh huh. And she began to afflict him. Mm -hmm. And his strength went from him. My Lord. And she said, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he woke out of his sleep. One of the great things and great tragedies of the Bible. Samson, given strength from God, was gone away. And she said, the Philistines be upon thee, Samson. And he woke out of his sleep. And he said, I will go out. As other times before. And I will shake myself. I will just shake off what's on me. I will shake myself into action. I'm ready. I got it. 
And he wished not that the Lord had departed from him. God gone. He didn't even know it. Lost out with God. Didn't even know it. Verse number 21. Read, brother. But the Philistines took him and put out his eyes and brought him down to Gaza. The Philistines took him. He had no power now. He would kill him before, but now he had no power. Put out his eyes. Come on and read. And brought him down to Gaza and bound him with fetters of brass. Mm -hmm. And he did grind in the prison house. The Philistines took him and put out his eyes. Don't go there, but in 2 Corinthians chapter 4, it said, the, and blinded the minds. He, this is not just physical, but blinded the minds that they may not see. When the enemy, the first thing he has to do is take your eyes. Because you see sin for what it is. You see, why in the world would I go in here and hit this pipe? Why would I, why, I know it's a, why would I involve, why would I go and, and, I don't even like having the same clothes a couple years in a row. Why would I put a tattoo on my face? They don't even make that. A year from now, I may not even want it, but I can never. Why would I do something like this? this, this, this why would I put a no through my? Why, I don't understand. Because I see you see. Why in the world would I get high in front of my child? I don't care if I'm 90. There's a certain respect you're going to have for me. And I'm going to have for you. Why in the world would you have this man come into your house, stay in the night, and you had a different one last month? Your children, your children are seeing men come up in here. You, how, how are you going to tell her anything? How, well, I, uh, yeah, uh, 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 where was you at last night? How you snuck out with a boy? You taught me. But you would never do that. You would never go that far. But he put your eyes out. Now you're out there, your eyes blinded. You don't see what you should be seeing. You don't. Seriously? You supporting this? You telling him, uh, uh, let him make his own decision. No, 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 no. I expect mom and daddy, saved or unsaved, to tell me what's right and wrong. Don't let me make my own decision. Listen, tell me don't do it. If I go past it, then you say I told you not to. You don't sit back and become some super philosophical dad. Use the word of God. Find out what the word said about it. Put that on me. Saved or not saved, train me up in the way I should go. If you're not saved, still allow mama or daddy or whatever one is saved to train me the right way. Why? Because when I get older, I I have a foundation to rely back upon. But you blind it. You don't see now. You got blood on your hands in, a, in, a, in, a, in eternity. You're going too far. You, you've destroyed your own soul. Now you're going to destroy them? Well, you're going too far. You're going to force my hand. Blind it. Blind it. Come on, read, my friend. How be it? Yes. The hair. Blind it. Uh, okay. Put out the his eyes. Took him and put out his eyes. Yes. And brought him down to Gaza. Yes. And bound him with fetters of brass. Now bound him. Once he put out his eyes, he bound him. See, you would that which you eventually get bound by, you didn't see it as bondage when you engaged it. If you saw it for what it was, you would have never did it. But because you didn't see it for the depth that it was, you said, I'm just going to try a little bit. Some stuff you just don't try a little bit. They got this stuff now, this new age where you try something, you mess around with the same sex, and you're not, you're not gay, but you just try it a little bit. They, they, they said, I'm not gay, I'm just questioning. Some stuff you don't question. Some doors you don't open. Some stuff you don't mess with. Some spirits, you just leave them alone. So you got to learn. Oh, whoa. Why? Because it gets you 
and it entices you, and it makes it look like it's cute, this, that, and the other, it's the end thing, ain't nothing in that that's far off. It ain't in. So here, you're going to allow that thing to go? Now, some things, well, they just hit it one time. You know how many people have ended up stone addicts? They were told, just hit it one time. Just hit it one time, man. Just, 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 just hit it one time. No, because that thing will end up having me bound. See, when you're bound by something, you actually think you need it when you really don't. I didn't say you like it. You, when you're bound by something, that thing is as much a part of you as air is. You didn't got involved in that. And somebody from the outside don't realize how deep bondage is. Won't you just stop doing that? Won't I stop breathing? You, I, I'm not saying I'm doing this. I'm bound by this. Every time I get up, I got to have pornography. I go online, I go find somebody, I go read a book. You understand this? Is, I'm, I'm bound by it. I got, don't, 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 no, don't. No, no, you understand that. I got, I got to. Matter of fact, a, a regular female don't even turn me. I need something. I, I, I'm bound. You understand. I got I, I wake up in the morning. Give me a bottle. I got to have it. In my mind, I think. You, then I rationalize. You don't understand. This, this, this calms me down. Listen, I, I wake up in the morning. You understand. It's not something I do on the weekend no more. I do when it's a party time. I need it now. Give, give, let me hit. Let me hit. Give me hit. Roll up for me. Give it to me. I, I got to have it. I got, I got, I got, you understand this? Do you, it's a part of me. It's what I got to do now every day. It's just, just, I don't do it when I'm part. I don't do it for pleasure no more. I just got to do it. I do it for survival. I'm, no, no, no. You don't need it for survival. You're bound. But thank God the bondage breaker is here this morning. My God, my God. Thank Hello. God you can be delivered from that. My the God. devil don't want you to realize how this thing really works. My Lord. You really don't need it. My God. You really have no craving for it. You really don't want it no more. You really realize it's no good for you, but you can't handle it by yourself. My See, God. when you get bound, it's stronger than you. You gave it the power that it now possesses. So you cannot deliver you because you gave it the power. But all you have to do is tap into a power that's greater than the power that got you bound, and you can be delivered. My God. My God. So let me put his eyes out. Mess his judgment up. Now when his eyes is out, he going to end up bound by some stuff. Bound by some stuff. That stuff got him bound. And we're hoping that that stuff that got him bound will keep him secure until he gets to eternity. Unprepared. 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 It said, eyes out, bound. Then it said, they're going to make him grind. Reading over in Exodus, it was talking about they, uh, uh, Pharaoh had him grinding e e in uh, Egypt, grinding, building palaces. Built, and it was amazing. Grinding was hard taskmasters. Have him grinding. Once he gets you bound, now he got you laboring for him. Now he got you building up his temples. Now he got you building up his stuff. Now you are one of his agents. Now you're grinding for the devil. Don't even realize you just, just you just you just you just doing stuff just, 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 just what I'm gonna be uh, uh I, I don't know I'm gonna be a rapper yeah thug life for life I hit it I kill it I did just, seriously seriously you you know better than that church a god child and you talking about well, and then you get some philosophical I'm just well, I'm not gonna go to you building up temples for the devil seriously throwing parties. Yeah, we throwing white out, don't wear that, and this, we got this going on on Facebook, coming, Halloween, we going to all bring this, that. See, you? Seriously? Well, you don't even realize. He got you grinding for him. Grinding. Come on and read. Let's close it out. All the call, get ready. And brought him down to Gaza. Yes. And bound him with fretters of brass. Yes. And he did grind in the prison house. And he did grind in the prison house. House, it's period, no more hope. He's grinding out there. Devil got him working hard. Don't even want to be out there. Tired of it. Really what, what, ready to turn to another chapter of their life. But they're grinding. My God. It seems hopeless. It seems like all the fun is gone. My Lord. These spirits got me bound up. I don't want to do them no more. My mind, my health, 
I'm dealing with stuff in my body now. That y'all don't even know about. Y'all just see me. Y'all don't realize I got health issues now that I'm dealing with. I'm out here dealing with all this pressure. Oh, the devil now got my mind. I can't hardly sleep at night. He got me having attacks, suicidal thoughts. He got me thinking I'm hearing voices I'm not hearing. He got me, my God, my, he just got me messed up. I'm grinding all oh, for year after year, grinding and grinding. My, I can't hardly get any rest. My God got me depressed. When I think about my outlook, I should have been saving more than I'm saving. Now I'm older when I should be retired. I should be relaxed. I should be secure financially, but I still got some pride. I should have had a better relationship with my children. I should have done that. I should have been taken care of. I, oh, I look and I look back at the years that the locusts have eaten. I look back at what I should have done. My mind, you don't understand. I look almost hopeless. He was grinding, grinding, grinding. But Read that next verse. Amen. Glory be to God. Read. How be it? How be it? The hair of his head began to grow again. The hair on his head began to grow again. He was a Nazarite. His hair represented his power, his strength. It didn't say that it came back, but it said little buzz. Just, 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 just a little, the follicles begin to break through a little bit. You say, what is that, brother? Turn to 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians, my God. Thank the Lord for hope. 7 verse 10. How be it, while he was grinding, the hairs on his head began to grow again. After they shaved it all off. Come on. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 7, verse 10. I think that's what I want. For godly sorrow. So, my Lord, when you realize Corinthians. Read, brother. Godly sorrow. For so godly sorrow. Sorry to God. Read. Work of repentance to salvation. Mm. Not to be repented. Hold on. Of. So he was out there, head shaving, but it said while he was grinding. They said they took hot thongs and put his eyes out. He's out there grinding. People run me, that's Samson? That's old Samson. Seriously, that's sister so and so? That's old sister. That, that, that brother so and so who was doing, he was going forth for God. He had a good faith. That's brother so. -so. <laughs> but one day while he was out there grinding, one day no doubt he was sweating, and he raised to wipe the sweat off his face, and his hand went a little bit past his face, and it kind of touched his head, head a little bit. He, he while he was grinding, wiping the sweat, he felt. He felt. He felt. Just a little, little, some little pricklies. Men know what I'm talking about when you shave and you feel, just a little, he felt some little prickly. Yeah. Hold on, whoa, 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 I ain't felt this in a long time. Whoa, I, I, it says, godly sorrow worketh repentance. When, not, just, I messed up. But you feel a little something deep on the inside. Lord. Not just my condition I'm in. But Lord, I should have done you like this. I was raised better than this. See, the devil got to keep you busy. And the devil got to keep you, block your heart. Saying, don't receive it. Don't receive it. Because if godly soul ever show up. And you ever allow godly, it's a godly soul. Work is repentance. It'll work some in you. It'll start working some. Once you start feeling, you allow that godly soul. Lord, I'm sorry. Lord, Lord, I'm not back, but Lord. Lord, I shouldn't have. Lord. Lord. Years. Backslider. Lord. I'm not saying nothing to nobody. It's just you and me, God. I'm feeling something. Lord, I, let you. I just want to make it back. Saint child. I just hear my father giving himself for the gospel. I'm up here chasing some phony fake dream. 
Got these young men laying on the bed, laying on the couch with them praying for sister souls who don't feel good. They loading the van up, headed down to Ohio for a revival. Here I am, out here, like a prodigal son, out there in sin, just doing what I want to do. Yeah, I'm out there with my boys and stuff, but they don't know what I know. They don't know the upbringing that I got. They don't know who I was raised by. I shouldn't be out here. I shouldn't be there with them. The saints laboring. The saints going forward, going all over in the community, on corners, preaching the gospel, going all over the world with this gospel. And here I am, a fool for the devil. He don't even care about me. He don't even like me. I don't even fit in. But he, whoa, you start to feel. I should be. I should be with the saints. See, when you start getting godly sorrow, whatever you got to give up, you don't even, it don't have the same hold on you. When you start feeling godly sorrow, what you think in your mind, well, I got to go to this camp, I got to go, I'm studying that. I don't care about that. It don't matter. See, when you got to talk somebody out of giving up something at the altar, just kind of stop. Because when you, you, you can help them navigate the devil, but you shouldn't have to talk them out of giving up nothing. When a person got godly sorrow, I'm done. I don't care. I don't care. On my way to the altar, I'm done with this. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. What? Godly sorrow. Godly sorrow. Something deep on the inside. That you allowed a deep sorrow for what you did to God. Seven billion people plus in the world. God blessed you at one time with an experience. God blessed you to be exposed to the church of God. Truth, real Bible salvation, for real what it means. You, God blessed you to be uh, blessed with signs and wonders and inspiration. And you blew it and you left it. You grew up and you said, I don't want nothing to do with it. You went to, and you feel bad about it. Amen. You feel horrible about it. Samson began to think. You gave me a strength that you gave nobody else in the whole world. And I messed it up. Come on and read, brother. Let's close it out. For godly sorrow work of repentance yes. to salvation. Yes. Not to be repented of. Go back to the text. And you'll never regret it. That's what he's talking about. Godly sorrow work of repentance. Not to be repented. You'll never regret it. You'll never regret it. Old, old ministers told me that when I got saved. They said, Brother Lee, I believe my father was one of them. He said, you'll never regret it. The decision you're making today, right. you'll never regret it. Yeah. As long as you live, you'll never regret the day you came and how true that was. Come on and read this closer. Yes, sir. After he grinded, verse 21, maybe? Uh, verse how, 20. how be it? Yes. The hair of his head began to grow again. Verse 23. Come on. Then the lords of the Philistines gathered them together. Yes. For to offer great sacrifice unto Dagon, their God. Come on and read. And to rejoice. Come on. For they said, Yes. Our God have delivered Samson, our enemy, into our hands. Come on, read. And when the people saw him, yes. they praised their God. Uh -huh. For they said, our God had delivered into our hands our enemy. Yes. And the destroyer of our country. Come on, read. Samson, y'all, Samson messed us up. We got him now. We slew many of us. Yes. And it came to pass. Uh -huh. When the hearts were made merry. So they had a big party. They were throwing a party. We got them. We got that back. So we got that saint child. Oh, we got them. They were throwing a party. They getting their drink on. My God telling Dagon is greater than God. Dagon, some concocted God. Amen. The head of a man, the body of a fish. They some concocted God they just made up. Dagon is better than God. Oh, go. They party. Oh, we got them. Oh, but it ain't over. Read. And it came to pass. Oh, the devil rejoicing. I got her. I stole them. I got him back in sin. He's done for. Oh, look at him. Look at her. She should have been saved. She should have been used of God. Oh, but I got them. Oh, they're partying. They asked everybody, come. Let's have a party. We got that saint of God's child. Oh, the devil and all hell, they have a party when they get a saint of God's child. Oh, because they know he know too much. He know the truth. Oh, we're partying. But my God is not over. Read, brother. Read. That they said. Yes. Call for Samson. Call for Samson. That he may make a sport. That he may make a sport. Play yes. games with him. Read. And they called for Samson. Samson smacked him upside his head. Samson, which one of us smack? You can't see. Samson. Hey, Samson. Pull. Let's see how strong you are now. Pull these tires. Samson. Making him sport. Come on and read. And he made them sport. Yes. And they set him between the pillars. Come on. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. <laughs> Come on. The wrong place. They, they, they set him between the pillars. Uh-oh. They said they messed around and set him between the pillars. The pillars was what, what the whole thing was held up with. They messed with. Oh, the devil got lazy. 
Took some for granted. Oh, devil didn't got lazy. Oh, he ain't doing none. His eyes is out. Uh, oh, setting between the pillars. Oh, the devil didn't got lazy. Devil either lazy or he just said, hey, he can't do nothing. What are you going to do? His eyes is out. Oh, but you don't understand God. You don't understand that we serve the God of second chances. The title of our message this morning is one more time. We done, but anyway, one more time. You don't understand the God that we serve. Amen. He delights in mercy. When people count you out, God is saying that setback was just a setup. So a comeback. Oh, devil. All the things you had him bound by, that's going to make it more glorious, his testimony. Lord, He's going to be able to say, I was bound by this, I was bound by that. But someday, I felt my hair started growing again. My God Lord, gave me Lord. one more chance. Come on and read. Let's see how it happened. Read, brother. And read, read. Samson said unto the lad yes, yes. that held him by the hand, Come on. Suffer me. Suffer me. I may feel the pillars. Lead me to the pillars. Where upon the house standeth. Where the house standeth. That I may lean upon them. That I may lean upon the pillars. Read, brother. Now the house was full of men and women. Come on and read. And all the lords of the Philistine were there. Come on, all the there lords. All the, the spirits that got him bound. All those that got him up out of there. All they were throwing the party. Their leaders was there. He said that I may lean upon the pillars. One more time. Read, brother. And there were upon the roof about 3,000 men and women. Uh-huh. And beheld while Samson made sport. He said, lead me to the pillars, that which is holding the house up. Lead me. I can't do it alone. Lead me. The devil got a blow on. But if I can just find somebody somewhere that I pray for me. If I say somewhere that won't judge me, won't talk about me, won't dog me out, won't laugh at me like they're laughing at me, but still love me, but still call my name out at midnight, that still let me know when they see me, we're not giving up. We love you. We're not going to condemn you, but we're praying for you, brother. We're praying for you. Lead me, lad. Find me a lad that will lead me to the pillars that I may lean on them. I can't do it alone. I need some inspiration. I do need some help. I'm ready, but I need some help. I'm ready, but I need some help. Thank God some help is here this morning. My Lord. Go on and read, brother. And Samson called unto the Lord and said, uh -huh. O Lord God. It said that I may lean upon the pillars. One more time. It meant that I will tear down this entire structure. I'm willing to deal with all of it. I'm not just trying to deal with one thing. That's right. I'm not just trying to deal with the, this person or that. But Lord, lead me to the pillars. I didn't, he didn't say, lead me to the leader of this whole thing. Lead me to one of the, so I can punch him in the face. So I can get him in that. No, lead me to the pillars. I'm willing to deal with all of it. Lead me to the pillars. I'm willing to deal with every, let me, give me my floor for one more time. Lead me to these pillars one more time. Lord, break every yoke. Lord, I'm willing to give up all. It said, departing from the way of sin. Not ways, but way. I'm done with all of it. Those that genuinely want to break through. Those that want to give, that God will give one more chance. Are those that come correct. And just say, Lord, I'm not holding back nothing. Lord, I'm not keeping nothing in reserve. If you give me another chance to be saved, if you give me another chance to restore the years, Lord, I'll come clean. Lord, I'll let it all go. I'm not coming halfway. I'm not coming 50%. I'm not coming 70. Lord, I'm coming all the way. Lord, let me home, Lord God. Lord, I'm done. My God, I'm finished, Lord. Just give me one more chance. I promise you, I'll be the best saint you ever had. I promise you, Lord, I won't cause you no more problems. I promise you, Lord, I won't toy with the forbidden ever get in my life just lead me to the pillars one more time read brother and Samson called unto the Lord yes and said oh Lord God remember me I pray thee my Lord he came to the right source he called upon the Lord Samson called you must call your mama can't call preacher can't call you gotta cry out for help yourself we gonna lead you to the water but you gotta drink yourself my God we're here this morning you gotta cry out to God it doesn't matter what you're dealing with it doesn't matter what you've lost it doesn't matter what the enemy got you bound by it doesn't matter that your sight is gone God is the restorer of sight God will break the chains God will restore 
restore, restore. But you got to call out. Samson called to the Lord, to the right to the right source. He didn't call to his friends. He didn't call to the church. He didn't try to join church. He said, I want to get back to God. I'm coming all the way back. God is the source. God is my help. He said, what did he say, Brother Frank? I pray thee and strengthen me. Yes, Lord, I pray that you remember I, me. I pray thee only this once. Lord, I pray that you remember me. He personally went and said, just like the thief got personal, said, remember me. Remember me. Lord, I know you died for everybody, but Lord, remember me. Give me strength one more time. Come on and read. Oh, God, that I may be at once avenged of the Philistines for my two eyes. Yes. And Come Samson on. took hold of the two middle pillars. Come on, Samson took hold. the house stood. Listen. My eyes took hold. A firm breakthrough. Samson took hold of it. I remember when I got saved, my God. I was praying. One brother had one knee up, one knee down. The brother said, hold on, hold on, hold on. Couldn't get a breakthrough. The brother said, my God, humble yourself all the way down. My God, get a hold of this thing for real. Break all the way down. Don't be one of those that come forth. You say a prayer, but my God, two weeks later, you're back doing what you used to do. My God, take hold of it for real. Get a hold of this thing for real. Let God know you mean business for real. Get a hold of God for real. Thank God and I got a hold of God for real that day. Come on and read, brother. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars upon which the house stood. He took firmly hold. Read. And on which it was borne up. Yes. Of the one hand with the right hand. Come and on. of the other with the left hand. Read, brother. And Samson said, yes. let me die let with me the Philistines. Let me die with the Philistines. And he bowed himself. And he bowed himself. With all his might. With all his might. And the let house me die, fell. Lord. If I got to die getting back to you, I'm dead, Lord. Lord, I'm going all the way with this, Lord. Lord, let me die. I don't matter, God. I just want to get back. Whatever it costs me, God. I don't matter. I don't care. That was say, what about this? Well, you know, if I die, I die. I just want to feel you one more time. I just want to be saved, God. If I die, I, it don't matter. You can get a breakthrough when you put everything on the altar. When you let God know, Lord, if this costs me my life, it don't matter. It don't, I just want to be saved. I just want to feel you one more time. I want to be restored one more time. Come on and read, brother. And the house fell upon the Lord's and Come upon on. all the people. Yes. That were therein. All those that came in part of his expense, the house fell on them. Come on and read. So the dead which he slew at his death. So the dead which he slew at his death. The second time. The God of second chances. Lord, give me one more time. One more time, Lord. One more chance, Lord. One more time. Stir my heart one more time. It said, and the dead which he slew was more. Come on and read. Were more than they, they which he slew in his life. He said, my God, God of second chances, Lord, he did more the second time than he did, slew more in his death than he did in his life. He killed a thousand in his life, but thousands in his death. God is saying, because of the level of work that needs to be done in this last moments of the gospel day, you're going to do more for God than you did before. You come back correct, letting God know, my Lord, God, my Lord, give me one more shot at it. Lord, I'm not coming back as a babe. I know too much. But it's imperative that you remember this. Pray for us, saints. The timing. If Samson had waited, the party would have been over. He came to God. He's saying, Lord, I messed up bad. Some people can't get a hold of God because they're trying to come back on their terms. They're thinking about their life. They're saying, Lord, can you forgive me? Lord, can you heal me? Lord, no, 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 no. You messed up too bad. You knew better. You wasn't no blind. You, you, you put God to an open shame. The only way you're going to come back is saying, Lord... Let me avenge the devil. Lord, I'm not coming back for a position. I'm not coming back actually to bless me to get married. Lord, no, 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 no. If I never. I'm just asking you, Lord, to give me one more chance. And while all those were up there partying, he had the chance to recover everything that he had lost. He had the chance to, rec to do more. He had the opportunity. God said, hold on. All his enemies are here. We're at the end of the gospel day. It's nothing left, nothing cute left. This is all grunt work. Going out of the days in which it's, oh, no, 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 no. If you get a shout now, you're going to earn that shout. If you go, why ain't they shouting like they you? Listen, I appreciate what they, if you get a, if you get a lap now, you're going to earn that lap. Oh, this is a different level, devil. This is another whole level of stuff now. Amen. But God is saying, because of the level of the battle right now, if you make your move, 
and you come correctly with all your might, dealing with everything you got to deal with, let it all go. And your mindset is, avenge me, Lord. Let me avenge this devil that messed my life up. I can never get back my 20s. He took them from me. I can never get back the years. I got children that never knew a praying mother. Never. I got children that I raised never knew me to pray. How could I ever get that time back? God is saying, because the work in the kingdom at this moment is of such, they're partying on you. They're gathered together on the church. We got the church, but those that Brother Hampton have poured into, those that the saints of old have poured into, those that your parents have poured into, God is saying today, at this moment, this is the year of restoration. If you come back now, I will restore the years the locusts have eaten. I will restore the joy of your salvation. I will deal with every spirit. You don't have to deal with those spirits, my God. I will deal with every spirit that's got you bound. I will release you. I will use you. You may not, my God, the Saints may be the other, but my God, I will use you myself. I will give you something you've never had before. You will have an experience, my God, that you've never had before. You will have a joy, amen. Your children, my God, I will restore the confidence that they'll have in you, my God. I will help you lead them to Christ. Today is the day. Now is the day of salvation. This is the moment. We have to be like Samson saying, Lord, I'm owning it, Lord. I messed up, Lord, but give me one more chance, Lord. Lord, if you give me one more chance, I'll fight like I never fought before. Lord, I'll give it everything I got. Lord, just give me one more chance, God. Lord, if you give it to me, I feel the inspiration. I feel the power. I want it right now. I'm willing to go all the way with God. Give me one more chance. My God. Shall we stand? My Lord, my Lord. Singers may come. Despite what you've done, despite the condition you're in, God is saying this morning, this is your moment. This is it. This is your time. Is there one you can walk up at this time? We'll pray with you. The altar is open. The prayer room is open. Amen. We're here. If there's one this morning, God is here and God is calling. If there's one, let's pray this morning. Saying, Lord, I want to come back home. Lord, I'm coming to Jesus. Lord, I want to be saved. If there's one, you meet us here at the altar. We want to pray with you. Be sincere. I've, devil, I've worked with you long enough. Enemy, you've taken enough from me. It ends today. It's not about anybody else. This is me and God. I want to be right with God. I want to come back. I'm ready, Lord. Just give me one more chance. Lead me to the pillars one more time. Just one more time. I know I messed up. I don't deserve it. But there's hope for me. There's hope for me. I feel it. I believe it. There's hope for me this morning. I feel it. I believe it. I'm not going out like this. I'm not going out like this. I'm not coming back for what God can do for me. I'm coming back to be a humble vessel. If he can do anything with me, Lord, I'm here. Do I have nothing to negotiate with. Say, come, let us reason together, saith the Lord. I have nothing to negotiate with. I'm not coming back asking you, Lord, what about Lord? I'm just coming humbly. If there's one at this time, you may come forward and singer sing. Singer sing. I've wandered far away from God. From God. The Lord. Now I'm coming. Thank you, Lord. Saints, pray, saints. Pray, saints. Pray, saints. You'll never regret it. The path, the path of sin. Of sin. Too long. Too long. I tried. If there's one, you just come forward. We'll pray with you. Lord, I'm coming. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Coming. back home, the prodigal son, prodigal daughter, I'm never leaving to Rome, yes, open wide, 
one more time. One more time. Samson, just say, give me one more time. Just give me one more time, Lord. Just give me one more. Just give me one more time, Lord. Let me feel you one more time, Lord. Let me feel that joy one more time, Lord. I'm wasted. I should have been saved, Lord. Precious years. I can't get them back, but give me one more time, Lord. Lord, I'm coming, Lord. I don't deserve it, Lord. But Lord, just have mercy. I now repent. I own it, Lord. I'm sorry, God. I'm sorry, God. If there's one more, if there's one, if there's one this one. Yes, Lord. Door still cracked. Coming. Yes. Home. What a beautiful song. Coming. coming. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Never I'll never leave. I don't know how I'm going to make it. I don't even know how to be saved, Lord. I don't know what the scripture says, but I'm just humbling myself. One day at a time. One day at a time, Lord. One day at a time. Yes, Lord, I'm coming home. Sing another verse. Is there one? Is there one? I'm tired, I'm tired. of sin. Going in circles. And straight. I'm tired of it, Lord. I do the same thing over and over. I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, Lord. I'm tired of getting hot. I'm tired of doing what's wrong. I'm tired of being out in the streets. I'm tired of resisting the Holy Ghost. I'm tired of feeling empty. I'm tired of not having joy. I'm tired. If there's one that's coming near, if there's one, if there's one, if there's one, if there's one, it's time, it's time. It's time for you to come. It's time. God has been dealing with you. God has been giving you dreams. God has been dealing with you. God has been letting you know it's time to come back home. It's time to let go and let God. It's time to let go and let God. It's time. Let's let go. It's time. It's time. Don't outseek it. Don't try to reason it. Just come back. Just let God know. Lord, I'm sorry, Lord. Lord, just give me one more chance. Lead me to the pillars. One more time. Be willing to deal with it all. If there's one, if there's one, if there's one, if there's one, it's time to come back. It's time to let go. It's time just to let the enemy know I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. If there's one more, if there's one more, if there's one more, it's time, friend. It's time your parents have poured into you. The saints have poured into you. The Bible says you'll reap what you sow. They've poured into you. So now it's time for the church to reap a harvest. All the Sunday schools, all the years, the things you've seen. Just let go and let God. You may start the revival fires back burning again. You are the one we've been waiting for. Just let God know. Lord, I hear you're saving souls. I see you're bringing souls back. Lord, don't forget about me. He said, remember me. You got to get personal with it. Yes, Jesus died for everybody, but you got to get personal. The thief on the cross said, Remember me. This morning, you got to say, Remember me. Let go and let God. Just let go and let God. 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 In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, saints pray, souls are bound up. They don't want to be out there. Souls are bound up, my God. This is the time of release. This is the year of restoration. Is there one more? Is there one more? Just come on up. Let's pray. Just come on up. Let's get a breakthrough. Let's come get saved today. Let's just let go and let God. Come on. Is there one more? Coming home. Yes. My, my, my. 
Lord, I'll never leave. You give me a chance. Give me a chance, Lord. Give me a chance, Lord. Saints, pray. Somebody is right there. Somebody else is right there. They're ready. God has already been dealing with them. Somebody else is right there. They're ready to come back to Jesus. They're ready to come back to God. They're ready to get saved. They're ready to give their life to Jesus Christ. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Is there one more? Is there one more? Is there one more? Hold on one moment. Hold on one moment. Saints, I feel with everything within me. This is a moment. This is a moment for somebody. When you have a moment, you don't leave there the same. It's kind of like a fork in the road. Once you hit a moment like that, you're going to go one way or another. You're going to go deeper, then you don't stay the same after a moment. I feel with everything within me, this is not even about today. This is about this moment in the gospel day. God is saying, I have plans for you. You, because you've had a good attitude, because you've had a good mind, because you've gone further than you really wanted to go. I have work for you to do. It's not about you. It's not about you waiting until you get ready. It's not about waiting until you work this out. It's not about you getting this blessing. It's about you and the work I have for you to do. You're going to uh, impact souls like nobody else. There's individuals I need you to do. There's a work I have for you. You're going to take a church from here to here, but I need you at this moment will you come and help me God is saying will you help me it's not even about you but a single person passed me down is there anybody else that feel God calling them this is not about you you have to change your mindset for all these years you've been thinking it's about me I'm not ready I'm good God is saying I need you I need you the door is open for a work I have for you. Will you come? As we sing a verse of pass me not, walk your way up to the altar this time. If you hear God calling you, you walk your way up to the altar. Children, if you feel God calling you. Young people, if you feel God calling you. Unsaved, backslider, let's make our move. Pass me. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Cry. While on other side art calling, do not pass me by. Savior, oh Savior. Bless you, bless you. What's your name? Do Becky, you not love you. pass me by. Bless you, baby. Let me ask a throne, a throne of mercy. mercy. Yes. By the sweet relief. One more chance, Lord. One more time. One more time. One more time, Lord. Let me feel you. One more time. Yes. Help my unbelief. Yes. Savior, oh Savior. My, my, my. One more time, but before you sing it, we're gonna pray. But saints, this gotta be a very, very, very deep prayer. <coughs> Samson, mightily used. I don't read where the prodigal son was mightily used. I don't read where others were mightily used, but Samson was. He fell away hard. But he made it back. Samson represents that backslider. 
Samson represents that saint's child. Knew better. Nazarite. His mother couldn't have a baby. Consecrated. If you give me a child, you, you knew better. Had destiny on your life as a child. But you're out there. Saints, listen. You notice who responds to the gospel? Not a church of God, child. The, the devil, no. It, it, it's it's going to be a miracle for them to make it out. I'm just being real with you. You could, We could go right now to, to, to Compton. The bloods and the crypts. Preach the everlasting gospel. My man got three bodies on him. My man got seven. My man just robbed an old lady, shot her three times. They hear the gospel message. The saint of God's child. Backside today. Almost impossible. The enemy knows. They come, they gonna do more damage. <laughs> the, the demons, every one, every demon, you better hold on to them with everything you got. They gonna come up in here, Sister Lisa Wilson. My God, taking a stand, bringing families in, brother. Rand. I mean, they gonna take a stand. They know, Sister, Amen, Sue. Ann. They gonna know, Amen. They come back up in here, brother Frank. They gonna be serious about it. Amen. They not coming in here like babies. They gonna know, Amen. The just shall live by faith. They gonna know the evening light songs. They gonna know about what the Church of God stands for. But. I feel with everything within, within me. There's some hair growing. There's some hair growing. There's some hair growing. Amen. Amen. There's some hair growing. So we want to pray at this time. If there's one that wants special prayer, you can come up. We'll pray for you that God would help stimulate that hair that's growing. Sing us that second verse one more time, and then we're going to pray for these that come, and we're done. Amen. But we got to pray. We got to pray. I feel the hair growing, but we got to pray for them. Stimulate that hair. Lord, stimulate that hair. There's some hope, but we need you to stimulate that hair. Bye. Bye. Speak relief. Is there one more backslider that wants prayer this morning? One more saint child that want to come forth to get hands laid, to get prayer. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy upon me. Help my unbelief. Anybody need prayer for unbelief this morning? You believe, but you're saying, help my unbelief. I just need some prayer. I need some prayer laid on me. I need the saints to pray for me. Oh, God, have mercy, Lord. Have mercy, Lord. I want my eyes back. Lord, have mercy. Lead me, Lord. Lord, lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, lead me, Lord, lead me. Where is that lad at? Where is that lad that would lead me to the pillars one more time? I'm not ready to get saved. I don't know why, though, but I feel some hair growing. Don't give up on me. Don't forget about me. Don't not pray for me. I feel some hair growing. Oh, the devil fears. He fears Samson grinding. Oh, let's bust the party up. Let's bust the party up. Let's bust the party up this morning. Yes, Lord. While on others. While on others, Lord. The year of restoration. Lord, I want to be included. Lord, I want to be a part. My, 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 my. Sing that chorus one more time. Oh, everybody sing Savior. Savior. Oh, Savior. I'm not saved, Lord, but don't forget about me. Sing that voice, that voice softly one more time. I believe there's one other that needs to be up here to get prayer. I believe there's one more. I'm not saved, Lord, but don't forget about me. Saints, I'm not saved, but don't forget about me. Pray for my hair. Pray for my hair. I believe there's one more. I believe there's one more. Lord, help me. While on others are called, by night, by night, not to pass me by. Sing that one more time, softly, softly, softly. Say your oh, say. Thank you, Lord. Appreciate Sister Green, my God. Hear my humble. The old 
old saints, the old saints. They would pray this prayer. Lord, remember the saints' children. Oh, Sister Hampton. My, my. They would say that prayer. Lord, remember the saints' children. We didn't make any children for the devil. Lord, remember the saints' children. Lord, remember the backsliders, Lord. The old saints would pray that prayer. They would say, Lord, remember the backsliders. They would say, Lord, give them one more chance. I knew they knew better, but give them one more chance. Let us pray. Let us pray. Every head bow. Every head bow. Saints, we need you to be very, very sincere. This is not a cliche. This is not another prayer. Don't let anybody that's up here be untouched. Everyone that's up here, somebody touch them. Hold their hand, touch it, put your hand on their shoulder. Don't let anybody be up here untouched. If somebody's up here that you know and you're not, come up behind them. Let nobody be untouched. This is spiritual warfare at a high level. Saints, we have to finish the work that the saints before us have laid the foundation for. He told Solomon, David said, my son is young and tender, but I prepared this generation. God is saying is young and tender, but the saints before us, they prepared. They prepared to wait for us. Saints, I feel with everything within me, there are souls at this altar right now that are critical to the final move of God. I believe they know it, and I believe God knows it. But we just need to pray for their breakthrough. Saints, I believe the ones that we're waiting for are at this altar to help finish the work of God. They know the truth. They know they got a good attitude. They just need that breakthrough. Every head bow. Sister Rosalind, where you at? Where's Sister Rosalind? Is she up here? She's in the kitchen. All right. Sister Credit, come on. Let's pray this prayer. Saints, pray with everything within you. If we don't get this breakthrough, and I feel the timing has to be right. Samson, if he delays, I get saved later. I get saved later. They were partying right then. The ones that messed him up were partying right then. We need a breakthrough right now. Sister Credit, a lot of these up here, their parents are already gone. I'm praying that God would anoint you to pray as if their parents were here. The burden that they would have right now you know the ones that labored with you, that traveled with you, that gave up all, shopped at the saint store, talked about, they dogged us out. They put us through for this gospel. They raised their children the best they knew how. I'm asking that God would anoint you to pray this prayer. Even now, maybe after the prayer, there'll be one that says, I'm ready, I just want to be saved. I'm ready, I just want to be saved. We're praying that God would anoint you of all of our parents that are going on to the other side, but their children are standing before you. May God anoint you, Sister Greta. Pray, saints. Our gracious Father, Lord in heaven, we thank you, dear God, this morning for this message. Thank you, Lord God, for our precious brother who've labored, brought forth the word of God. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the moving of your spirit, Lord. We thank you, God, that your spirit haven't left this earth, that you're yet dealing with hearts, you're dealing with souls. And we thank you, Lord, Father, for how you have dealt with hearts this morning, Lord God. And Lord God, this is not a coincidence, Lord. We are thankful that you know what you're doing. And Father, these souls that have come, my God, Lord, for prayer, Lord, we know how uh, the pastor have labored. And my God, he led us, my God, from one place to another. 
My God, we took our children with us. And Lord, we had family devotions. And Lord God, we fasted. We prayed. We cried. We pleaded with God. Father, that you would save them. Some of them were saved at one time. Lord God, you know, dear God, how you dealt with their hearts. And Lord, but the enemy, some way or another, my God, got them. Lord God, to turn on you. But Father, this morning, as we come, oh God, they're coming back Lord their hair has grown back my God we pray in the name of Jesus give them the wherewithal one more time give them one more chance Father in the name of Jesus give them a breakthrough for the glory of God Father in a special and a mighty way Lord only you know how only you can do it Lord in Jesus precious name Sister Willis she labored, she fasted, she prayed, she cried, she died for her children. Let God, in the name of Jesus, let it not be in vain. Father, the sister Hunt, my God, she died. Lord, she labored for her children. Oh God, Father, Brother Johnson, Lord, know how he labored for his children. Oh, Father, in the name of Jesus this morning. Sister Hampton, Lord God, how she say she don't have not one child for the devil this morning, Lord. Do what you can for your glory, we pray. We love you from the bottom of our heart. We thank you for the saints' children. Lord, we're praying for them. Brother Beavers, Lord, he labored in this gospel. He got children here at the altar Lord who needs to be saved oh God break through on them for your glory we pray for the glory and honor of God Sister Jean Hunt, she died in this truth. Lord God, she got children. Grandchildren are not saved. Have mercy, we pray, for your glory. Oh God, do what you can. Do what you can this morning. Break hearts, Lord. Rebuke the devil this morning, Lord. Oh God, we pray. We drive him far away from us. For your glory, we ask. Lord, we give you praise. We give you thanks. Save one soul. Say one soul this morning. For your glory we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank God. Amen. We are going to do something a little different though. After service, if you want special prayer. After service, if you want special prayer. We're going to stick around. We just feel to. After service, several have gotten saved. I think says.